Welcome. In this lecture, we are going to understand what will happen if we apply AC supply to a DC series motor. We usually know that DC supply is applied to DC motor and AC supply is to AC motor. Now before going into that discussion, first you need to know who is responsible for rotation of the motor and the answer is torque whether it is an AC motor or a DC motor the torque is always responsible for the rotation of the motor now in case of DC motor what are the factors are there which generates the torque always remember that in DC machine the torque is equal to current that is obviously armature current that is flowing through the armature that is IA into flux so in case of DC machine we can write torque tau is equal to armature current into flux phi or phi into IA this is the expression and the end a very important expression now see in DC machine the main current from the supply if it is ISE and armature current if it's IA then ISE is equal to IA because there is no node is present in DC series motor and the field coil is connected in series with the armature clear now whenever this armature current is flowing through this field coil then it is creating an MMF or magnetomotive force and which is equal to N into IA where N is your number of turns of the coil which coil this particular field coil this MMF produces the flux clear so the flux in DC series machine is purely dependent on armature current or IA clear now when we are rotating the machine or trying to rotate it then what we need to do we have to create unidirectional torque now what is this unidirectional torque unidirectional torque means the torque which tries to rotate a motor or a machine in a particular direction whether it is in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction whatever it may be it should be unidirectional that means in one direction otherwise if the tor torque is fluctuating that is like this in one direction and after the second cycle it is in another direction then we will get a fluctuating torque that will not able to rotate the motor now when we are supplying DC then the torque we are getting obviously unidirectional because DC is something that doesn't change the phase with time so we get the torque unidirectional it is obvious but whenever we are applying fluctuating quantity in form of AC that means like this then how will be the character of the torque let us see now whenever we are applying an AC supply then the current we are getting as an armature current is AC so this is shown here a sinusoidal waveform now as I have said that the flux is purely dependent on armature current so the flux we are getting will be in phase with the armature current so our flux waveform will be like this now the equation of torque I have written earlier is torque equal to phi into IA now let us take this is interval 1 this is interval 2 and this is interval 3 so let us take the first interval when your current is positive positive means at the upper side of the 
phase so we can write current is positive what is our flux flux is also positive so it is positive and what will be our torque if we multiply plus phi into plus i we will get a positive phi into i a so our torque will also be positive now what will be our torque wave form now it will be like this that is positive now for the second interval that me that means this interval here the current is negative so we can write at the table it is negative the flux is also negative negative so what will be the torque here if flux is negative and armature current is also negative then if we multiply this from this equation we will get torque is equal to positive because negative into negative we know it it is positive so our output torque for interval 2 will be positive so how the output waveform will be like this that is positive and same logic is applicable as interval 1 that is current positive flux positive and torque is also positive and our torque waveform will be like this so what type of waveform we are getting as torque it is positive what does it mean it means whenever the interval is positive we are getting a positive torque whenever the interval is negative we also getting positive torque that means we are getting unidirectional torque for AC supply so what does it mean it means we can run a series DC motor giving an AC supply now where is its application this is used in mixture grinder hand drill marble polisher all these are DC series motors for this DC series motor is called universal motor because it can run both in AC and DC but one thing we have to remember that it is not used more than 750 watt motor clear I think the concept is clear to you now you give me an answer in the comment section that if I apply AC supply to a DC shunt motor will it rotate I will get back to you with the answer in another lecture thank you